Hey everyone, Catalyst Arms, and welcome back to Project Zero G, where we're trying to build an ultralight Ruger Precision Rifle to use in the NRL Hunter Series matches in the Open Light Division. To qualify, the rifle, including the scope and bipod, have to weigh 12 pounds or less. That's going to be a bit of a project. So stick around for the short video, and we're going to share with you some ideas we came up with for modifying or replacing components to hit the goal weight. So the first step in the project was to weigh the rifle to see exactly how much weight we had to lose. Okay, so we basically have to lose three and a half pounds. The next step is we completely disassembled the rifle and weighed each component, basically looking for where we might find some of that three and a half pounds we need to lose. So one really fun and interesting thing about Project Zero G is that after weighing the components, we actually found a number of surprising places that weight can hide in your rifle. But we'll get to that more in a little bit. So let's go ahead and acknowledge the elephant in the room, the barrel. The Ruger Precision Rifle barrel literally weighs about four and a half pounds. Fortunately, Proof Research makes this really great carbon fiber drop-in replacement barrel for the Ruger Precision Rifle. The Proof Research carbon fiber barrel literally gets us about a pound and a half of the three and a half pound weight reduction we're looking for right out of the gate. It's probably just not gonna be possible to hit the goal weight without one of these barrels, so we're really happy to have this. Going to the other end of the rifle, we're looking at the butt stock to get some of the weight reduction. We've been using the Magpul PRS on a lot of our competition rifles. We like it really well, it's got great adjustment, it's really comfortable to use, and it's a great stock. It's also about four ounces heavier than the standard factory butt stock. So we're gonna go back to the factory stock for two reasons. One, the aforementioned weight reduction right out of the gate, but also the RPR butt stock is comprised of a lot of different components. We weighed a lot of these butt stock components and we think with some very careful weight reduction, i.e. drilling some holes and skeletonizing, that we'll be able to get probably about six more ounces out of this butt stock. So we're looking for a total weight reduction between eight and 10 ounces by the time we're done over the PRS that we've been using. Of course, we're gonna shoot the Fast Track Arca Rail handguard. The Fast Track is already fairly well skeletonized with a lot of cutouts, but we're gonna look for a little more weight reduction by probably drilling some holes or doing some skeletonizing next to the M-lock slots, and probably a little bit on top as well. The other area for weight reduction is our barrel nut assembly. So it's steel and aluminum. We're gonna go ahead and do some more relieving of certain areas that aren't critical for strength. And between the stock and the barrel nut, we're looking to get probably anywhere between four and six ounces there as well. So one of the surprising areas for weight reduction is the bolt shroud. We've been using the Anarchy Outdoors Titanium Bolt Shroud. It's a great product. It fits the bolt a lot better than the factory shroud. It's also a little bit heavier. Even though it's titanium, it is literally about three ounces heavier than the standard factory bolt shroud. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the factory bolt shroud. Even though it's not perfect and it rattles around a little bit, it's gonna get us three ounces of weight reduction and ounces equal pounds, so it all adds up. So even though it doesn't weigh a lot to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and get some weight out of one of our hammerhead bolt knobs. Probably we'll do some material relief in the back end and we're looking to get about an ounce there. On our Ruger Precision Rifles, we shoot the Anarchy Outdoors Penguin Grip. Now, it's not heavy to begin with, but a lot of times polymer is a lot heavier than you think it is. We think we can probably get about an ounce and a half out of this through some skeletonizing or drilling some holes. So, we'll see how that goes. So, one area we haven't made decisions yet is the stock hinge. It's not a super heavy piece, but it is a lot of metal, and there might be some areas we can do some material relief and maybe get a couple ounces out of this as well. So, we haven't quite decided about this yet. So one component we looked at and immediately saw weight savings was the factory scope base. We use two-piece rings, so we don't need all the scope mounting surface. We'll machine off all but one or two cross slots for each scope ring, relieve the base a little bit, and we think we can probably get anywhere between 1.5 and 2 ounces out of this 4-ounce scope base, so we'll see how it goes. So that's a great segue to our scope rings. We use the Mark IV AR height aluminum scope rings from Leupold. The ring set weighs five ounces, and they're already aluminum, so again, they don't weigh very much to begin with, about five ounces. But with some material relief probably in this base, we're hoping we can probably find like an ounce or an ounce and a half, and we'll take it. One of the most surprising places we found weight in the rifle was in fact the factory trigger. This weighs five ounces, and while it's not a deal breaker, it is fairly heavy for what it is. It's because it has a cast steel housing. 
Fortunately for us, we like the drop-in replacement triggers from Timney anyway. They have machined aluminum housings, so it's much lighter than the factory trigger. As a matter of fact, this is going to get us two ounces of weight savings just by dropping this trigger in. And we like it better anyway, so this is a great upgrade. Then one last part of the rifle that while maybe not surprising that it weighed a lot, is something you maybe don't think about. The factory bolt on the RPR with the bolt handle literally weighs just over 10 ounces. That's actually quite a bit of weight. And of course that's because it's a large bolt body, it's made from steel, and we're going to find some weight reduction there. Now we're obviously not going to do anything with the bolt head, locking lugs, bolt face or anything like that. But we will send it out and have it fluted and that will relieve quite a bit of steel around the body of the bolt. So we're looking to get a couple extra ounces there. Those are the main components we're looking at. There's of course a few miscellaneous components that we'll look at doing some modifications or replacement to see if we can find an extra half ounce to quarter ounce here and there. An example would be a steel castle nut. We might swap it out for a titanium version we had laying around, skeletonize one of our magazine releases, maybe find an extra quarter ounce. So at that point, those kind of weight reductions, frankly, will probably just be more for fun than anything else. So there's two more things we're gonna have to look at for Project Zero G. What bipod we're gonna use and what scope we're gonna use. We've been using the Skypod. We like it a lot. It's got some great adjustability, great functionality. We like it quite a bit. We've also shot the Atlas, and these are also great bipods. We might end up going with this because this will get us literally about six ounces of weight savings just by changing the bipod. The last thing we'll have to look at is the rifle scope. We've been shooting the Mark V HD 5-25 and 7-35s in competition. We really enjoy shooting these loophole Mark V HDs. They've got great glass, fantastic adjustments, they're fairly light for their size as it is already. But if we're looking for a few more ounces of weight reduction, we might end up going with a 3 to 18 Mark V HD, just because it's a little lighter, and if we're crunched for ounces, that'll help us out. Our next Project Zero G video, we're gonna tackle the buttstock. We have a lot of work to do in the buttstock. There's a lot of components, and we're looking for a lot of weight reduction. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you're enjoying Project Zero G and finding the information useful. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments section below, or send us a note on social media. Thanks again, we'll see you in the next video.